It's a potential concern for parents, especially as school starts back up. A national shortage in EpiPens, the devices used to treat severe allergic reactions to things like insect bites and certain foods. Well, today, 24 Hour News 8 7 Dean set out to see if the shortage is a problem here in West Michigan, and he joins us in studio with this story, all new at 6. Evan? Uh, Brian and Marley, good evening. Some good news, at least here in Grand Rapids. We checked with three locally owned pharmacies and one national chain. And all of them had at least some EpiPens or an alternative in stock. Plus, an allergist at Spectrum says their patients haven't had any trouble getting them yet either. And now there's good news nationally, too, as a move by the FDA hopes to fix the problem altogether. Back in May, the FDA added EpiPens to their list of drug shortages due to manufacturing delays. Mike Kelzer, the owner of K-Pharmacy in Grand Rapids, says he's seen shortages long before now. One of the problems is there's only one manufacturer that really makes a name brand EpiPen. Mylon, a company that was criticized by lawmakers for skyrocketing the price of EpiPens before eventually making a cheaper version. That's always a problem, it seems, because they can raise the prices pretty much indiscriminately and, um, and the supply is really all up to them. Kay is among the pharmacies that does have EpiPens in stock, but Kelzer admits there could be more parents looking to buy it now that school is near and they'll soon have less oversight of their kids. The ease of getting it though would be a concern because we're not talking a skin rash or something. We're talking a child who could die if they don't have uh, this medicine. While alternatives to EpiPens do exist, design differences have made them tricky for pharmacists like Kelzer to prescribe. But now, finally, potential relief. Just yesterday, the FDA approved a new direct generic version of the EpiPen. It allows a lot of things. It allows competition. The price goes down and more companies can make it, which then increases the supply of the drug. So hopefully this is the last year that we see this problem. Now, it's unclear exactly when the new generic will be on the shelves or just how much it'll be, but it's important to note law requires schools in Michigan to keep some EpiPens in their buildings, though Kelzer recommends kids have their own device that teachers can administer at school. Reporting in studio, Evan Dean, 24 Hour News 8.